Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at creating and using QR codes. So as you can see at the bottom here, a QR code is simply a way of giving pupils a quick access to an online link. And this is what a QR code looks like. And all the pupil needs to do is scan the QR code with their camera on their phone. And as long as they're connected to the internet, it will go straight to that website that the QR code is linked to. So the reasons for using QR codes are here. There are also more, but these are just some of the key uses for them. Um, the ones that I've highlighted in yellow here, um, I can give you more information on those and show you how to set those up. If you would like to speak to me about that, please just get in contact with me. So let's look straight away at how to set up a QR code. Now, the website that I use is qrcodemonkey.com. Um, I find it's the best one. It's free. You don't have to sign up. It's just really, really simple and easy to use. So the way that we do this is very simple. First of all, we need to enter our content, and this is the link that we're going to connect to the QR code. So what I'm gonna do is use the example of a Twitter page here. This is my Twitter page, and I'm just going to copy the link. And of course, you can do this for any website link at all. It's totally up to you. So what I would do then is go back to QR code monkey, I'm going to paste the link in there or the URL, and that's going to be connected to the QR code. Now, there's a few other things you can do. You can set colors if you want to. Um, so if I want to set a color here, I click into the color grid, and then I just click onto the color options, and I can find on the slider which one I want. I'm going to do light blue because it relates to Twitter. So that's my color chosen. Also, uh, I can add a logo image. Um, I'm going to choose, you've got presets here to, you know, commonly used ones. Uh, so if it's YouTube, you can put a YouTube logo in the middle. Um, I'm going to put lo uh, the Twitter logo. So all I need to do is click that and it's automatically there. Now, if you save an image that you've got from the internet or you've got your own image that you've made, you can simply upload that from your computer. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to um, the customized design. And this here, you don't really need to do it if you don't want to, but I tend to do it just to jazz it up a little bit. So you can choose an option for what the QR code shape will look like. You've got the, um, the frame shape. As you can see at the moment, it's a square, but I can change that if I want to one of these. And then the eyeball shape, which at the moment you can see is a square, but I can change that to kind of match this if I want to. So what I'm going to do now, if I go to create QR code, that is what my QR code will look like. And that is literally all you need to do before we move on to the downloading part. So now our QR code is ready to go. So what we need to do is download it. So I'm going to download PNG, which is portable network graphic. It just means it's an image. So you click download and it will take a few moments to actually download. But once it's downloaded into your folders, you can actually then upload it to, for example, a Google Slides presentation or a Google Doc or whatever. It's just an image. You can insert that image to any file. So what I'm going to call this is Twitter QR, and I'm going to download it um, just to my documents, 20 media images. That's fine. Anywhere appropriate for you. So I'm going to press save, and then it will actually save and download the file. So now what I'm going to do, and I've made this for um, people to use, if I just, for example, in this folder here on Google Drive, if I go to new and I choose Google Slides from a template, what I'm going to do there is if I scroll down to the DCF section, I've actually made a QR, temp a QR code template. So if I create this now, what it'll mean is that I've got the scan me and the mobile phone graphic there and the background ready. So if I go to insert an image and upload from computer, and again, this works the same with any online Google document. Um, if I go to my folder, which it's in, and there it is media images and Twitter QR. 
I can simply drag this into there, resize the image, and now if I was to display that on my screen or I was to print that off to show to pupils and stick it on the wall, they could scan it with their phones and it will take you directly to that link. So it's as simple as that to create a QR code. And as I said, you can use it for any of these purposes shown here. Okay, it's just a really simple way of giving pupils quick access to a link because they don't have to type anything in. And that's it.